Well, this is going to be an interesting one. I'm headed over to a buddy's house to pick up his, uh, what is it, a 1969, 1970 International 2500B. It's definitely the largest thing I've ever tried to move on this trailer. Um, it's not the heaviest. It doesn't actually weigh all that much. It's sort of a, well, you'll see when we get there. It's sort of a smaller looking machine, but it's physically big. It'll make sense when we get it loaded up. Uh, the, the wheels are going to be hanging off the edges just a little tiny bit. Uh, the drive to where we're going isn't that bad. Uh, it's back roads mostly. There's just one small bridge that I'm kind of concerned about because it's really super narrow. I suspect it'll freak the other oncoming traffic out more than it'll freak me out, but we're going to get this thing uh, get this thing loaded up on the trailer and get it hauled out to his new property and uh, go from there. I believe we are here which is going to be interesting because there is nowhere to turn around at. So, how are we gonna work that out? <laughs> uh, not a super busy road. I think we're gonna back into this guy's driveway. Oh yeah, plenty of room. Twenty five hundred bucks. Can't beat that. Yeah. I pay more than that for some implements. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a manual. Yeah. Okay. After screwing with it, because I've never loaded it before, we ended up having to block the tires to get up over the fenders to get the weight forward enough so the truck will ride correctly. But uh, we got it to fit and it's all chained down and we're gonna uh, head out there. So hopefully it goes well.
All right, this is going to wrap this one up. So we uh, put the, tra the tractor on there, got it loaded up. We ended up having to reposition it a little bit. Uh, I'm glad I had those extra blocks of wood. It really worked out well. I didn't bend in my fenders. Towed down the road a little funny because I had it uh, weighted a little bit too much to the back, but overall it, it went well and we got it out here and got it unloaded. And as you saw, uh, the, one of the brakes is out, so it was sliding off the trailer a little bit, but we managed to come through all that. Uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. It always helps me out in the long run. Check out some of these other links. I'll have my tractor series of videos and my mother-in-law's house build. Till next time, thanks for watching.